What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Marvel edition of the Rage and Nation show. This is Webster's. We're talking about all things matter me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 119, and in this episode, we're going to talk about X Men and the future of the X Men franchise from 20th Century Fox. We haven't talked about any of this stuff in a while. The last episode, I talked about Spider Man's costume in Spider Man Homecoming. If you haven't seen that, go check out the previous Marvel edition episode. That's 118. But for now, in this episode, we're going to talk about X-Men. But before we talk about the future of the X-Men franchise, let's just do a final box office update for X-Men Apocalypse, which came out on May 27th. And since then, domestically, they have made $155 million and also $534 million worldwide against a $178 million budget. Now, $534 million worldwide, that is... That is a really big number, it's a great number, but it's not anywhere close to X-Men Days of Future Past. That's $200 less than what, $200 million less than what X-Men Days of Future Past did, and Deadpool still remains the number one film in the X-Men franchise. Now what does Simon Kinberg have to say about this? Simon Kinberg is of course the producer and writer. Now with regards to how the studios feel, this is what he said. I think they are happy. I mean, the truth is, Days of Future Past is some sort of outlier for an X-Men movie. We never made more than $500 million before, and Days was kind of like our Avengers, where we sort of brought this mega cast together. We hoped the movie would do the same as Days of Future Past, but we had a feeling maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. It's a different kind of film. And I agree with him 100%. It's a different kind of film. It didn't do as well as X-Men Days of Future Past, but uh, they had a lot more going for it. I mean, they put the both casts together, and therefore, that added much more to, to the success. With X-Men Apocalypse, of course, you got a big movie, like this mega movie, uh, for with all these uh, comic book characters, but we still have a very relatively unknown cast. You know what I'm saying? A, a young cast that uh, a lot of people haven't really connected with. So I th still think they did a great job. I think X-Men Apocalypse is a decent film. Not a great film, but still a decent installment in the X-Men franchise. Now, um, if you are a big fan of X-Men Apocalypse, you can see X-Men Apocalypse once again on home video, DVD, and Blu-ray release on October 4th. That is when it's coming out. And it's going to be a great release. It's going to have a lot of special features with it. And you can expect to see me getting that Blu-ray once it comes out on October 4th. So what's next for the X-Men franchise from 20th Century Fox? Well, so far, the only solid thing we know is that 20th Century Fox has two untitled Fox, uh, or two untitled Marvel films, of course, from their studio, um, on these locked dates. March 2nd, 2018, and June 29th, 2018. Both in the same year, but two years from now. Now, I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm pretty positive. I'm very, very positive that the March 2nd, 2018 release is for Deadpool 2. And the June 29th, 2018 release is for Gambit. Now, what about all the other X-Men films? Well, the X-Men sequel or a New Mutants film? Well, I think that they're going to take a break from the Mutants... Um, I mean, like, X-Men and the New Mutants. Um, I mean, they're, it's still going to be worked on, but uh, I think they want to switch up their direction and bring in these solo characters first, give the audience a little bit of a break, and then bring the X-Men back. And, of course, bring in these New Mutants. I think that's the direction that they're going for. But uh, let's just see what they uh, what's going on here. Of course, we have... Uh, um, uh, 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 what is next? Oh yeah, Wolverine. <laughs> the third installment in the Wolverine solo franchise, this little mini franchise that is pioneered by, um, by of course, Hugh Jackman and uh, James Mangold, the director. Um, it's filming right now, and there's a rumor that uh, it might introduce the Reavers. Now, if you don't know who the Reavers are, they're cyborg criminals that are bent on destroying mutants specifically the X-Men. Now, this is just a rumor. There's no word on if this is uh, true. But one thing we do know about it is that they're bringing in the old man Logan story and it's going to be an R-rated film. Okay? 
And there's also, of course, rumors that uh, X-23 is going to be a part of it. I hope she is part of it, because that's something that I would love to see. Moving on, Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 going to have an R rating that's already confirmed after all the first one is rated R. They're definitely going to be introducing Nathan Summers, a.k.a. Cable, and they will start filming early next year. And that's why I say that the March 2nd, 2018 release is definitely reserved, is most likely reserved for Deadpool because, well, Deadpool came out in February of 2016, this year. So to have them come out around the same time, two years apart from each other, that sounds pretty accurate. All right, so Deadpool 2 most likely will be coming out March 2nd, 2018. Uh, moving on, New Mutants. Josh, Josh Boone is the writer and director. They're going to be introducing new young mutants. And they also mentioned that uh, Professor X is confirmed to return. Now, um, by saying return, I don't mean if that, uh, that actually... I don't know if that means... a. Um, uh, um, James McAvoy or pra Patrick Stewart. I'm not sure which one is going to be there. I'm not sure where it lays in the timeline, but Professor X is going to be in there. Now, they, uh, they also mentioned that they could possibly be aiming for a um, uh, uh, filming as early as 2017 for a summer 2018 release. So, I mean, that still could be that June 29th 2018 release date we're not sure yet i mean heck even that date could be gambit because apparently gambit is still happening i know there's a lot of delays going on with the production of gambit they have been facing a lot of obstacles but apparently channing tatum is still committed director doug lyman is still committed to directing okay uh but uh they do have a script and they hope to shoot uh, start shooting at the beginning of spring 2017 so March of 2017 they're gonna hope to start shooting which is pretty crazy because originally they were intending to shoot on October of 2015 that's like a year and a half difference they did run into a lot of obstacles but hopefully this is going to be the definite shooting date because if they can start shooting on spring of 2017, they can definitely make it for that June 29, 2018 release. Okay. Now, what about X Force? Now, there's no uh, no real word on X Force except for uh, Jeff Wadlow uh, writing. I'm not sure if he's going to be directing it, but he's definitely going to be writing it. And any talks or future talks about X Force will come after Deadpool 2 because after all Deadpool 2 is going to be that precursor to X-Force it's going to be kind of like that prequel to, to X-Force they kind of have to build it up before they get there so that's what's happening so far so it's not something that's really a big topic right now um so uh but what about another X-Men sequel after all X-Men Days of Future Past was a huge success X-Men Apocalypse was a bit of a success, but not quite the same success as X-Men Days of Future Past, and it ended up with very, very mixed reviews. So, is it time to bring in another X-Men sequel? I don't think so. I think that they should wait a little bit, and I think they should let some other, um, other characters have the spotlight first for example give Deadpool his moment give Wolverine another chance to shine or his final chance to shine bring in Gambit bring in the new mutants and then after we've seen enough of these new guys or at least you know got our fair uh, 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 I guess dose of these new guys bring in the X-Men that we know and love from before I think that would be a great idea and apparently Brian Singer is still interested in in producing and directing. If he's not going to be directing, definitely going to be uh, um, there for a producer credit. I think there's something about the X Men franchise that really wants to, where he really wants to stay on board. It's kind of like how J.J. Abrams is still attached to the Star Trek franchise, even though he's not directing it. So X Men is to uh, to Brian Singer, just like how uh, Star Trek is to J.J. Abrams. So I mean, he did mention that. He could possibly be directing, maybe. But if not directing, he's definitely going to be producing. But that is what's going on right now. We got a Wolverine sequel, a third Wolverine film, rather. 
a Deadpool sequel, New Mutants film, a Gambit solo film, an X-Force film, and also a potential X-Men sequel, which could come out in 2019 or 2020 if they uh, get everything moving. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. This is an update for all the X-Men stuff and 20, from 20th Century Fox. So uh, hopefully things come together and then we can start getting more official announcements soon. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's going to be more Marvel updates. So make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation. My name is Alex. You. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. They got some pretty good chemistry there. And the comedy is... Um it's very different. It's very different when compared to the original, but I'll say that it works.